Haidar Nizam, President of Zoho Middle East and Africa and VP of Products at Zoho. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thanks here. for having me here. Thank you. Wonderful. What new products are you showcasing here at Jitex this year? Oh, we are uh, making a huge announcement in terms of our AI capability in all our 50 plus products. You know, uh, we have 50 plus products that caters to all the department and organization from sales to marketing to service to, you know, finance and accounting software to HR software. You name it, we have it in Zoho. So all these products are getting a huge facelift in terms of adopting uh, generative AI and also a lot of, uh, um, you know, AI features inside this core product, which we call it as Zia, Zoho Intelligent Assistant. So that's what we are launching as part of Jitex. For example, I can give an example of a product like Zoho Desk, which is a ticketing system. A customer reaches out uh, uh, to the team uh, for any help. So we know that now a customer is a happy customer, or irate customer looking at the sentiment of the email what they have thrown us. Or it could be a chat or it could be, uh, you know, a WhatsApp message. So whatever channel it comes from, the AI would predict, okay, this customer is happy or not happy and escalate it to the manager or whatnot. So this is one of the example, you know, kind of capability what we are bringing in now for uh, Zoho 50 plus products. Sounds very interesting. And what is the role of innovation in Zoho's approach to technology and product development? Uh, I think, uh, you know, what we are doing is more of a bottom up approach uh, and we are owning the complete stack. Okay. In compared to the other vendors out there in the market, Zoho pretty much owns the entire stack. You know, like Apple is having their own stack. No, they have manufacturing uh, M1, M2 chips. You no, know, why they are doing it? because they want to provide the best customer experience, right? Similarly, Zoho runs our own data center. We, don't, we are not hosted in AWS or Azure. We run our own data centers. We have our own network devices. We have our own application stack. We have our own services. So the different thing what Zoho is doing as a technology vendor is, we own the complete stack, and which means that all the 50 plus application, whatever we built, not been acquired, but built from scratch, and they are integrated works together. For example, uh, customer data inside CRM would be available in your ticketing software. Mm -hmm. So when an agent is responding to a ticket for a customer, the agent will know that, okay, this customer has signed up this, they had this kind of issues, all the information pulled from the CRM or different system and shown in one page. So this kind of integration and technology know-how is possible because we own the complete stack. And in terms of the technology landscape, what are some of the trends we're seeing here in the Middle East and Africa? And how is this evolving environment? How is Zoho adapting to it? How are you serving your clients and customers? Now, always the Middle East market, especially UAE market, is always a front runner in terms of technology adoption, digital transformation, right? Uh, Dubai as a city itself is the first city to go paperless, right? And we have been part of that journey, partnering with the Dubai economy and tourism. So what we are doing is, you know, trying to bridge that gap in terms of wherever technology problems arise. For example, today the challenge is, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk on AI, but what kind of AI suits the business is matters, right? Because AI, the, the AI becomes more intelligent as it comes to more data, right? And if you supply more data, then your privacy and security is at stake, right? So Zoho is a company which values privacy, but also front runner in the AI technology. So the AI is one key technology. And second is kind of technology like blockchain. Uh, security products, right? And Zoho is a very front runner. No, we have a digital signature product. We have a product for, uh, you know, the contract management and legal stuff. A lot of these products, we use the blockchain technology, right? So these are some of the key technologies, you know, driving the whole Middle East region right now. And very importantly, AI and Zoho is a very front runner in all the AI capabilities, especially the generative AI. I see. And can you divulge a little bit more into the increasing concerns of data privacy and security. How are you addressing them? How are you making sure your clients and customers alike are happy with uh, your move? This is a very important uh, question you know, to be answered. See, the more and more you talk about AI or this kind of sophisticated technologies, the more and more the customer data is at stake, right? So it is it, it goes to be, uh, you know, back how fundamental you are valuing the customer data. Zoho as a com company is a very privacy conscious company and we don't sell data to any third party. And when we wrote our privacy document in 2006, we said that we're not going to sell our customer data. 
because we have 100 million registered users even putting a small ad in our app could yield us uh, tens of millions of dollars but we are not in that business so privacy is very important and we are compliant to all the privacy uh, compliances we are very security focused company we are compliant to uh, you know um, all the compliance security compliance wherever country we operate and we have in house very strong security team in place and we don't host it in third party no we run our own data center so all these measures are put in place so that we provide the best security to our customer and we value the customer private data well sounds like a very secure company indeed and hi darnizam thank you very much indeed thank you so much and having me here